Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today I want to show you something real quick. We are going to go over how to set up a virtual key to have your camera pan around. This will mainly be for 3D projects, but there's other virtual keys you can set up. So we're going to go to our database. We are going to either hit F8 on our keyboard or go to Tools Database. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom. We're going to click on Virtual Keys. I'm going to full screen this. And then here is the virtual keys set up by default, but what we can do, just like many other sections of the database, you can click resize. We're going to add two functions for right now. And we're going to click this top one. We're going to do, uh, we're going to call, you can name it. We're going to name it camera yaw uh, increase. We are going to click this plus button here. This is how you determine what key it is mapped to. So you click the plus, that pops up. You can do more than one key for a function, but we're just gonna do one. Uh, you click that keyboard window there. You can define the source here, if it's keyboard, if it's mouse, or if it's touch. We are going to remap the virtual key. So you click this pencil. And over on my other screen, it popped up. I'm gonna drag this over here. This little window pops up. You press the key that you want to use for this function. I'm going to use Q. And now what we have over here on the right, we set up a script. This is like scripting events for, uh, for characters or for anything. You have all the functions available like you'd have in entities. Very cool. Lots of possibilities here that you can set up with the uh, press of a key. But what we're going to do, we're going to come to this one called Map. We're going to go to Adjust Camera. We're going to click it. This fun little window pops up, and you have a bunch of different settings here. You can offset the camera. You can change the camera's rotation, which is uh, what we're going to do. You can change the camera's view distance, the field of view, the scale, the duration of this. Um, what we want, as the name implies, Cam Yaw Increase. We want to check this button here for Y or the yaw, and that's going to like swoosh the camera basically to the left or the right is the way I like to think of it. Uh, and what we want it to do is whenever we press this key, Q, uh, we want the camera or we want the yaw to increase by one. Now we're not done here because if you see here up the top, we have pressed script, we have ongoing script, and we have released script. So this is what happens at the initial press of the key. Ongoing is what happens when you're holding the key down, and released is what happens when you let go of the key, like the name implies. So again, yeah, you might be thinking there's a lot of possibilities here. Very cool. <clears throat> what we want to do is have this same script on the ongoing because we don't if we the way it's set up now if we press our Q button it's just gonna increase the all uh, one and that's gonna be it it's just gonna be like a little notch right oh and I also I want to set this as a Delta value use it as a Delta value So we can go up here and we can set that all up again, or very conveniently, RPG Architect has a copy entire script button up here, right next to a paste entire script button. So we're gonna copy this script, we're gonna go to ongoing script, we're gonna paste ongoing script, and just like that, we have it set up. Our yaw is going to increase one. And actually, I think I, uh, I'm gonna swap this key. I'm gonna set it up instead of Q. I'm gonna set it to E. I think I got him backwards in my mind. Maybe, I don't know, I'll find out. I can never remember <laughs> if increasing is going right or left. I don't know, I should have checked that, whatever. So we got that key set up. We're gonna do the same thing on key press eight. We're gonna call this cam y'all decrease. Decrease the cam y'all. All right, and then we're gonna go to mapping. We're gonna go to keyboard. We are going to press Q. I think I did do it wrong backwards, but whatever. You, you get it. You get the idea. 
and I'm going to actually I'm just gonna copy this again I'm gonna paste it but now I'm just gonna put a uh, negative one in my yaw copy again paste it in my ongoing and that's it that's literally it so I'm gonna apply this I'm gonna run my project it's gonna open up on my other screen I got a lot of stuff going on here hopefully this vid comes out after the 3d mapping but who knows it might be a preview here and now if I hit Q my camera rotates if I hit E it rotates the other way very cool very simple I actually have them backwards than the way I would like to have them. I should have gone with my gut, but you know, whatever. Then I just go back in and adjust the keys, but the function's there. So lots that you can do with the virtual keys uh, chunk of the database. You know, you can have, because it all comes down to this scripting. You can have a button that restores your character. You can have a button that changes a skill. You can have a button that adds or removes party members or changes your party members. You can have buttons that'll, oh, it'll play an animation. Okay, all right, it'll play an animation or it'll flash the screen. It'll change the physics, ooh. You have a button that'll teleport you. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I think I used that in my game jam entry. I, I believe I can't remember somehow I did an entry where I I had you teleport on certain tiles that might, that was probably it but um, you can have the button gain the tile information or adjust camera like I just did uh, set camera target ooh that's cool a button with that spawns a projection mm hmm mm hmm you get what I'm saying you got a lot of things here that you can do you can even have a button that gives you game over awesome that's it for now thank you so much for watching be sure to join the email list join the discord do all the things like and subscribe do the youtube things leave me a comment on what kind of function you want to give your virtual keys i've been burnt you've been amazing i will see you on the next one bye bye